these are a couple of mega blind buy fails um, from Jovan and again sometimes I like to try uh, perfumes from the same house if I really like one of theirs and I really like Jovan Musk for Women so I wanted to try that um, in the white mask version which I also didn't like um, and the black mask version and then I got it into my head that I really wanted to know what like gardenia perfumes were like because I don't really know gardenias as a flower um, so I thought oh okay I'll, I'll you know I'll, I'll try some of the perfumes some I've smelt have gardenia in them, I think, and I didn't really notice. And now um, I have smelt island gardenia, as I might have mentioned in my uh, Sparkling White Diamonds one. I really don't like the smell of gardenia in perfumes anyway. Again, I'm sure in nature, a very different situation. Um, but it just doesn't I don't like it at all. I think it's not very nice. It's too buttery. It just, yeah, it's one of those smells that for some reason freaks me out. Um, and I'm not in sh I don't really know why, but it, it just does. Um, so the Black Musk is a fruit chewly. <laughs> and this is one of those uh, moments in time where you realise that Fragrantica doesn't have the notes right. <laughs> um, it's a fruit chewly. So I had to get that up on base notes as well, um, just to compare. And the base notes one makes more sense to me for what I can actually smell. Um, and again, so I'm going to describe uh, gardenia as well, island gardenia, um, from base notes, because base notes has different stuff in it. Like I think I pretty much think on, um, uh, let me just check, so I don't want to slander them. But Island Gardenia on Fragrantica, the notes are, I think it just says Gardenia. I don't think it says anything else. Yeah, the notes is just Gardenia, which is rubbish. Um, it's definitely, there's definitely, there's nearly always other things going on, right? So I'm going to start with Island Gardenia. So on base notes, it says top notes of coconut and peach. I mean, honestly, despite me going on about how much I love Katy Perry Indie, um, I don't like coconut in perfumes most of the time, like, unless, th the reason I like it in the indie one is because it's pretty much all I can smell and it smells like coconut cream and there isn't any other kind of fruits going with it. As soon as it starts to smell like a pina colada or something, it's going to freak me out and I'm not going to like it. So, top notes, coconut peach, heart notes, gardenia, tuberose, jasmine, orange blossom and cyclamen, base notes, vanilla, civet and benzoin. And I, I'm not even going to spray this one because I hate it, so... Um, I'm going to sniff it. Oh God, it is so buttery. It's really buttery. And now, yeah, I can totally smell a bit of coconut smell going on in this. I, I just, I could never wear this. It's too buttery, too, yeah, it's definitely too coconutty. I can't really sense anything else other than it is like a sweet gardenia and I can definitely get a coconut vibe. It's a slightly tropical, which I imagine why it's called island gardenia, right? Um, I can't really smell peach, but my, my feelings of peach with anything uh, uh, are pretty strong most of the time so we've got to be careful so um i don't like that one and then this one um let me just have a sniff oh gosh instant fruit chewly so i think i can't remember which one it is firstly it made me think of flower bomb that's the first thing it made me think of it really made me think of flower bomb um and then i started thinking or oh, maybe actually it's one of the Livier bells not necessarily the original one but one of the flankers of Le Vie Belle, because I did go and smell a lot of those in a in a department store um, not that long before I got this one. Um, and this is too sweet, too much patchouli, too much fruit. It's just, I really don't like it. So I'll get the base notes up for this. It's making me wonder if some of the other perfumes I've been a bit confused about actually have totally different notes on base notes. So I might literally have to start checking both of them. So... The top notes from base notes uh, for Jovan Black Musk, so this this one here, um, it's pomegranate, orange, nectarine in the top notes, the heart notes, freesia, jasmine and iris, base notes, creme brulee, patchouli, musk and precious woods. So you've got, you've got the 
the sweetness, you've got the patchouli, you've got the woodiness, you've got the muskiness. And then on top of that, you've got really quite noticeable fruits mixed in with the florals. And it's just basically my worst nightmare. I hate fruit chulis. I really cannot wear them. I don't even like smelling them on other people. Like I really, really don't like this kind of perfume. But having said all that, I have a feeling this one's discontinued and it's hard to get hold of. So I'm going to put that one probably on eBay for someone who actually likes it um, and can get it for a good price. I think this one came, yeah, this one came from, the Gardenia came from, yeah, this one came from Fragrance X. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. And this one though, I think would be a really good buy if you like fruit chulies, if you like flower bomb, if you like all the Olivier Bell type scents, then this is like 10 quid for, a, I think this is 100 mil. Is it 100 mil? Yeah. Oh, 96, a random amount, 96 mil. And it's strong <laughs> and it lasts. And it's like, oh God, I can't deal with it, but other people will really like it. Um, yeah. Anyone who likes a fruit chulie, I think, would be really into this. It is not, it doesn't smell cheap. It just smells like those like fruit chilies that you spend like 70 pounds on um, for a bottle half the size. So yeah, I, I wanted to get this one up because although it's absolutely the opposite of any perfume that I would want to wear, this is actually great if you like fruit chilies because I mean, what an absolute bargain that you can get this a fraction of the cost of you know something like flower bomb and to me you know this is exactly what that i mean this maybe it doesn't smell exactly like flower bomb but it's the first thing that came into my mind when i when i got this out of the box and sprayed it absolutely the first thing i thought of and i was like oh, you know for me horrified because that's not what i'm looking for from a musk at all but you know it's not for me but it might be for you so you know worth talking about <laughs>